else in the world, this would be a fisherman's dream. Rivers so abundant with fish, they jump out of the water, and often, right into the boat. But these are not the kind of fish that get anglers in the United States excited. They are known as Asian carp. And the explosion of their population in the Illinois River is a concern to large river ecologist Kevin Irons. Silver carp, 450. They compete with every other fish that's in our water. Irons is part of a team with the Illinois Natural History Survey that routinely patrols the Illinois River near Havana, searching for Asian carp, which are not hard to find. To understand where and how much the invasive species is spreading, Irons and his crew use a method known as electrofishing to stun the Asian carp so they can be captured and counted. There's as many as 4,100 silver carp, adult silver carp, per mile here on the middle Illinois River. So that very quickly, you know, turns into about 13 tons per mile. And then you look at an 80 mile reach, it's phenomenal how much biomass is taken up by these Asian carps. There are two types of Asian carp in the Illinois River, big head and silver. Both eat the same food as other native fish, such as catfish and buffalo. What they eat is directly comparable to the Asian carp. They're plankton feeders. So Asian carp can weigh up to 45 kilograms each and eat up to half their body weight in food per day. Gradually, Asian carp edge out the other native species in the river until they are one of the only kinds of fish left. It is catastrophic to the natural ecosystem and a problem for the fishing industry in the United States, which looks at Asian carp as an undesirable fish to eat. Americans in general don't like a bony fish. The rest of the world eats silver carp, they're actually the most cultured fish in the world. Um, and they're overfished almost everywhere because they're so desired for human consumption. With no natural predator in the water and almost no domestic market to sell them as food, Asian carp threatened to expand into waterways through the city of Chicago and into Lake Michigan, about 320 kilometers northwest of Havana. This is where we've decided to draw the battle lines. John Rogner is the assistant director of the Illinois Department of Natural Resources, which is spearheading an effort to kill or contain Asian carp before they reach Lake Michigan. We have an electrical barrier in place that we are confident will keep them from moving en masse into the Great Lakes. And then our job is to put out the brush fires, so to speak. The fish that, for one reason or another, found their way past the barrier, we, we suppress them and, and try and take them out of the system to keep them from establishing in Lake Michigan. In June, a big head Asian carp was found above the electrical barrier about 10 kilometers from Lake Michigan. The discovery raised the level of concern that the invasive species was closer to Lake Michigan than previously thought. But the Illinois Department of Natural Resources is confident their containment measures are working, as they have yet to find more Asian carp above the electric barrier. Kane Fairbaugh, VOA News, Havana, Illinois. Wow. So you're starting to move